We're gonna do a harbor assay on that colony as well to see how it compares both uh, to the harbor score as well as the UBL score if there is one. Unfortunately, it's a frame full of pollen, but that's okay. Um, they have tons of pollen in that colony and we'll see what we got. Ta -da. James Lee with James Lee's Bees here. I uh, had a busy week. Spent the day in the airport yard yesterday checking colonies for resistance and hygienic behavior, as well as a couple of other yards. Had some uh, interesting results that will soon to be revealed. However, I'm here today, early in the morning, try and do a split on a colony that has just risen to the top, if you will, and is seven boxes tall and has lots of honey on it. And I need to pull the honey, not just to give um, them some space and give me some space and get some frames, but I also need to make some queenless new colonies for some of these cells that have been coming out of the incubator from grafts we've been doing on stock that scores four on the Harbo scale. Uh, now, I did a Harbo assay on this large colony just to determine what exactly the mechanism was that's helping it uh, over winter as it has survived multiple winters without treatments, but there was no indicator that it had VSH, at least on the Harbo scale, as we evaluated about 200 pupa and found uh, five mites on the frames, worker frames, five reproductive mites with plenty of progeny. So uh, nothing that was kind of hopeful or maybe there's some nuance here. It's very clear that they are not suppressing mite re reproduction. So that cued me to address the issue by breaking the colony down anyway so I could use the bees for some other purposes and then maybe we can further determine what's going on with that queen. Um, through other means and also do a wash on the colony and see just how high the phoretic load would be, quote unquote phoretic. All right, so let's get to it. This right here is the colony. I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Got a couple of smaller boxes here that have been queenless for some time that need to be evaluated to determine their queen status as well. But this is the box here, right there. Uh, then we're gonna go through hive number 40. All right, so we're still working on the big mammoth hive. I am finding brood and resources to give to one, two, three, four uh, medium five frame splits. I don't know if I'll do two boxes each or one, but we'll see what the rest of the colony has to offer. Um, it offers me a benefit to get some of these pine boxes that did get painted or waxed off of there so I could do something with them. But uh, the good news is, is that I was able to find the queen who has been moderately elusive. Let's see if we can get a good shot of her here. Um, and it's been really tricky and difficult to find her. But she's in there. She's a pretty narrow one. She's got that white dot on her. She is a 2021 queen. Um, it looks like she's got plenty of brood. She's doing a really great job managing the brood nest considering they were seven boxes high. Um, but the dilemma is that she's just not actively laying new brood. The bad news is there are a lot of mites crawling around on these bees. And that presents a dilemma as well because they will only continue to go up as she continues to lay eggs, especially at a slower pace, um, giving those mites more opportunity to outpace them, especially as the summer wanes on and the worker bees and production slows as far as drone, uh, not drones, but um, brood is concerned. So today what I'm doing is, is I'm breaking all of these colonies down into smaller colonies and I'm going to provide each one of those new queens with VSH stock. Uh, and we will break this colony down and make it small enough to be ready to accept a virgin. And then I will hopefully start another nuke with her in the colony by itself and monitor her performance. She very well may be at the end of her line and uh, we'll go from there. I've, I've already got a couple of queens off of her, um, so her genetics are in the yard. We'll have to continue to monitor to see what they do after they've open mated with local stock. Uh, this was a swarm caught in 
Saline, Michigan, and it was early May, I believe, maybe May 20th. I'll put a link to the video up there. I think I did a video on that one. So I'm gonna keep digging through here and breaking them down. <laughs> 